Lee's pep band gives Flyers games a special life. Led by their band director, they're a force to be reckoned with. That's right. Eric has some more on the special swag you can expect to see from the man <laughs> leading the band. Good morning, Eric. Yeah, Megan and Tasha, it is something impressive. And that force to be reckoned with that you're referring to, the Flyers pep band, is on a bus right now on the way here to Pittsburgh. They uh, got on the bus about 5.30 this morning back in Dayton, so it was a bright and early wake-up call for them. But if you watch the game on TV this afternoon when the Flyers take on Davidson at noon, chances are you won't miss the pep band's director, Dr. Willie Morris. And that's because of this. Check this out. This, this is the new custom jacket uh, for Dr. Willie Morris. It has 960. 60 multicolor high intensity LEDs dotting the coat. The lights are programmed to form patterns and even spell out phrases like Let's Go Flyers and Archie Miller. It weighs, get this, 27 and a half pounds. It's powered by a battery Dr. Morris wears around his waist. He controls it with a wireless remote and it's catching the attention of fans everywhere so far. Amazing. Where did you get that? How does that jacket do that? But that I'm I think they are, are just awed at the fact that it does all those crazy patterns. As I'm on the floor and it's making, spelling out letters, someone in the, four, the people in the 400s can read it. And that's what I wanted it to do. At some point, I want the audience to respond. They want, I want them to spell out the letters as they see them. Chances are they could do that today. Dr. Morris says he's got some new letters programmed for today's game. And so where does this thing come from? He works with uh, programmers in Korea. That's where the, uh, the jacket was shipped from. So it has uh, made quite the journey to make it here to Pittsburgh. And it is quite impressive. I saw it in person. Of course, the Flyers, again, will take on Davidson in the A-10 quarterfinals today at noon. Winner will advance to play the winner of Rhode Island and St. Bonaventure. But for now, live at PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, I'm Eric Elkin. I'll send it back to you. Before I did, I asked him if anyone else had tried on. He said no one else has actually worn the jacket other than him. So as soon as I heard that, I'm like, all right, well, I've, I've got no chance. The one thing that really impressed me about the jacket, I mean, there's so many things, but I didn't realize just how bright it is because when you're standing right in front of it, once he turns it on, it actually made me jump back for a second because it's so bright. So that when he said earlier, talking about trying to reach the people in the 400 sections up at the top of the arena, people, I think, really will be able to read what, what is going across uh, his jacket. That jacket is really cool, and you need to keep pressing him to see if you can try it on. <laughs> I think I know. flashy is the I word. I know. I'll, I'll, I will do my best. <laughs> we want to send it out to Eric as the Flyers look to keep their hot streak alive. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Megan and Natasha. Yeah, we're about five hours away from tip-off between Davidson and UD, and the Flyers practice here in Pittsburgh yesterday. But there's an important component uh, to this matchup that is actually not here yet. I'm talking about the Flyers' pep band. They boarded a bus in Dayton at 5.30 this morning, so they are on their way right now to Pittsburgh. And if you haven't seen them before, they are one of the arguably one of the best pep bands in all of college basketball, and that is in large part because of their eccentric leader, Dr. Willie Morris. Now, UD fans come out in droves to these type of events, and they're fueled by that pep band. Our motto is go crazy or go home, and it's been that since my first year, something we created several, you know, more, almost two decades ago. I tell the band that our job is to help create the energy and have the energy there before the fans even show up so that they're, they're, they, don't, they can sense before the game starts that something's about to happen. 